Lord, save us, we are perishing. My dear friends, imagine yourself and your loved ones in a boat, tossed about by relentless waves, with the winds howling and the darkness closing in. Fear grips your heart as you struggle to keep the boat afloat. In that moment of desperation you cry out, Lord, save us, we are perishing. In our lives we encounter storms that come in different forms, a loss of a loved one, financial struggles, broken relationships, or overwhelming challenges. These storms threaten to engulf us, leaving us feeling helpless and hopeless. But it is precisely in these moments of despair that we can find solace and redemption through our relationship with Jesus Christ. These words encapsulate the raw honesty and vulnerability of the human experience. They reveal the depth of our need for a Savior, for someone to rescue us from the storms of life. They express the recognition that on our own, we are powerless and destined for destruction. When the disciples cried out, Jesus did not hesitate to respond. He arose from his sleep and rebuked the winds and the sea, speaking with authority and power. And just as he calmed the storm that night, he stands ready to calm the storms in our own lives. The plea of the disciples serves as a reminder that we can bring our fears, anxieties and struggles to Jesus, knowing that he hears us and is willing to save us. When we cry out to him, we acknowledge our dependence on his grace and mercy. We lay our burdens at his feet, surrendering our need for control and recognizing that he alone has the power to rescue us from the depths of our despair. In Matthew 11:28, Jesus himself assures us, Come to me, all who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. These words resonate with the invitation to find comfort and peace in the midst of life's storms. Jesus offers us a refuge from the chaos, a place of solace where we can find rest for our weary souls. When we cry out, Lord, save us, we are perishing. We are expressing our faith in His ability to deliver us. We are acknowledging that He is our source of hope, our anchor in the stormy seas of life. It is through our unwavering trust in Him that we find the strength to endure and the assurance that we will not perish but be saved. Furthermore, this cry for salvation teaches us the importance of humility. In our moments of desperation, we recognize our own limitations and our need for a Savior. It is when we let go of our pride and self-sufficiency that we open ourselves to receive the fullness of God's grace. Dear friends, as you navigate the storms of life, remember the disciples' plea, Lord, save us, we are perishing. Allow these words to serve as a reminder of your need for Jesus your reliance on His power, and your confidence in His ability to calm the storms that threaten to overwhelm you. Place your trust in Him, knowing that He hears your cries and is faithful to respond. Seek His guidance and find solace in His presence. As you do so, you will experience the transformative power of His love, finding hope, peace, and ultimately, salvation in the midst of life's most tumultuous moments. May your hearts be filled with faith and your souls anchored in the assurance that Jesus, the Savior of the world, is with you in every storm, ready to save you and grant you everlasting peace. It is my humble prayer. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and sharing with your loved ones.